I want to give all praises out and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Makakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. There's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, GMS for short, for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. Shalom to the elect. This lesson, the title of this lesson, is going to go into the precept. Let me grab it. The book of St. John, chapter 1, verse 46. I'll start um, at 45, the points in 46. Philip findeth Nathanael, and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did. Uh, let me read Salakia. Verse 43. The following, the day following, Yahushua would go forth unto Galilee, and find the Philip and saith unto him, Follow me. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Yahweh of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip saith unto him, Come and see. Now, we see, one, how, um, you know, this, this truth of ours is, is like a relay. You learn about the Lord and you go teach your brother. You know, as a side note. But um, the main thing I wanted to get into is how can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Okay, and when you go into that um, portion of the scripture, right, it says, can any good thing, the character of Nazareth was proverbially bad to be a Galilean or Nazarene was an expression of decided contempt. See John 7.52. See the notes of Matthew 2.21. Nathaniel asked, therefore, whether it was possible that the Messiah could come from, from a place proverbially wicked. This was a mode of judging in the case of not uncommon. It is not prejudiced by examining evidence, but by prejudice. Many persons suffer their minds to be filled with prejudice against Jeru against religion and then pronounce at once without examination. They refuse to examine the subject, but they have set it down that it cannot be true. It matters not where a teacher comes from or what is the place of his birth, provided he be the authorized of God and qualified for his work. And um, when you liken it into this truth, and the brothers that have woken up, you know, you woke woken up from, you know, the the, the, the slums, whether it be over here in the, the America, you know, um, you got these brothers out here in Jackson, Mississippi, brothers out there from Alabama, you know, uh, uh um, Chicago, you know, cities that's known, you know, well for the most part. You you wouldn't catch it. You wouldn't want to catch yourself out in it, Slaki. You wouldn't want to catch yourself drive, driving through those neighborhoods of those particular cities at night, cause it's that dangerous. You know, even the the, the niggas of that place, the bad, all right, which give it really the bad name. You know, they they boast themselves of they of those particular uh, cities being a mur murder capital. However, you know. 
through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, good things have woken up out of those situations. And not only over here in America, but you also have what? Colombia, brothers in Colombia. You got brothers out there in Central America, brother in uh, Costa Rica. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. You, you, we see soon enough brothers uh, at El Salvador, you know, speaking. Brothers out there in Mexico, um, Peru, Bolivia. So-called, as Trump called it, shithole countries, you know, have woken up to who we are. Okay, when you go into the word, I don't know why I keep swiping. Uh, yeah, I hope this doesn't mess up the video because this shit acting stupid. But we go into the word good, right? It says uh, uh, agathos of good constitution or nature, good, pleasant, agreeable, joyful, upright, honorable. You know, and these men, particular men, have lost, you know, loved ones. Uh, you know, the kids have been taken away from them. Might have lost a job, walked away from a profitable career. So these are honorable men, you know. And um, the elect are scattered throughout these four corners of the earth. All right. Whereas the majority of the people are dishonest. All right. Lovers of themselves, backstabbers. As the scriptures call them, according to the curses, you know, um, that which we which we live in our people, which be known, would be known as a proverb. You know, what it says in um, Deuteronomy 28, that should be a proverb and a byword among these nations. You know, I myself personally, I would like to... Um, You know, travel to Colombia, and you know, amongst my uh, so-called family and friends, they always advise me not to go there because, again, that place is known as a, uh, you know, it's only known for what drugs and murder. However, that's a beautiful place, you know, and you have people amongst there, you know, who are um, uh, kind-hearted, good people. You know, but the general consensus, as many would know, as w would be like a spiritual, uh, uh, not, uh, um, Nazareth, you know, and, um, when, you know, just do a quick Google search, right? It says countries with the highest crime rate, all right? Otherwise known as, uh, proverbial wicked countries. And look at the top 10. Mostly Jake. Venezuela, which is Asher. Okay. Trinidad. Benjamin. Guyana, Benjamin. El Salvador. Zebulon. Brazil. Asher. Jamaica, Benjamin. You know. You got camps in majority of these places. You know. Like I said, uh, maybe Venezuela and El Salvador, which soon enough, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean... I wouldn't be surprised if you see brothers, you know, popping up doing lessons out there. Okay. Um, oh, this is another one I was thinking about, you know, as far as us, you know, because this is where the truth has started at over here in America. The wicked of the wicked. All right. As a matter of fact, when you go into the um, yeah, that that uh, even Barack Obama said it. But they they played a, a snippet of it in that that uh, the documentary called the Thirteenth, where Obama even said America makes up. Uh, I forgot exactly how he said it, but he basically said how America. And when you look at all the countries in the world, America has the most incarcerated. Oh yeah, it said America makes up five five percent of the world's population, but it makes up twenty five percent of the world's incarcerated. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this is a land full of uh, this is this is an immoral land. You know, 
Now some of them, you know, some of them may be because of misdemeanors or child support, you know, but a lot of times it's for what? Rape, murder, and things of that nature. So it says, uh, Uh, just let me see. Dream, who served for many years as pastor of the first congregational church, while Watosa, Wisconsin, lives in retirement with his wife in Estes Park, Colorado. Early in the 19th century, the brilliant French observer Alexis de Tocqueville gave this estimate of America and Americans in his book, Democracy in America. There is no country in the world where the Christian religion retains a greater influence over the souls of men than America. A similar assessment could not be made at the end of the 20th century. That is not to say that the Christian religion exercises any great influence over the souls of the men in many nations today, but the laws of its original influence is certainly as great as if not greater in the United States than anything anywhere else. You know, if you look at the agendas being pushed, you see that to be true. Okay. It says, and their influence would still be seriously questionable. One might perhaps even put it this way and not be far from the truth. There is no country in the world where the Christian religion has lost more of its moral influence over the souls of men than America. The high moral principles of the Christian religion have been corrupted by greed and envy, and greed and envy have caused and been exacerbated by the very programs America's politicians have adopted in a misguided effort to eliminate poverty. But well, that's pretty much the point. I don't really got to get all into it, but... um. Yeah, man, you know, and these other places that worship America, these other so-called shithole countries fall into the same, are falling into the same uh, decay, you know, the uh, following of the Mo agenda, you know, the Transformer agenda and things of that nature. Okay. Hey, so call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for uh, the spirit of um goodness if you will to rest upon us and now we're going to go back to the definition of the word good okay which means upright and honorable and the only thing that makes us upright is that we follow yahweh by shim yahweh shah okay psalms 119 and verse 7 says i will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. You see? So what makes us upright and good and pleasant is that we follow the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And through following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we know how to treat our brother. We know not to, you know what I'm saying, commit a uh, murder. We know not to uh um uh commit adultery, you know, which uh um leads to what? Um, the murder rate You know We know not to go against the law Statute of commandments of Yahweh We know to follow the law Statute of commandments to the best of our ability Okay This is the book of Proverbs No 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 Psalms Right We basically know to uh, contribute to the solution Rather than the problem You know when you go into these particular countries with the niggas, you know, that um give that country the bad rep, you know, what's what's normally in there? As the scriptures say, uh Hosea four, um Hosea four, by murdering, killing, blood, touch of blood. You know? So we know not to be uh, uh you know, a part of those, you know, uh, like I said, committing murder, um, adultery, which uh or selling drugs. You know things that uh, uh, add to the um, add to the problem, but it says uh, right here in Psalms 15 and 2, he that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness, and uh, I read at the start at the top, Salakia, a Psalm of David, 
Yahweh, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear Yahweh. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. You know? So, hey, man. With that, Lord willing, you are can edify. You know? Again, man, just another reason to give thanks and praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, the spirit of Yahweh Shai continues to dwell in us. You know? That we be those, um, those lights that shine in, continue to be those lights that shine in a dark place. Hey, so with that, Shalom to the elect.